what we're looking at today is the Skywatcher K100 4 inch F10 Kletsov, sorry if I've mispronounced that, Cassegrain telescope. Uh, this version is the OTA optical tube assembly only and I will come on to all the accessories very shortly. And uh, so th this one is OTA only but I've just I've mounted it on an Olivon TR162 which is ideal for this type of telescope. Very fluid fluent movement there. And so this is a one meter focal length in a tube that long. That is because when the light comes in it hits the primary mirror at the back, comes back, hits this secondary mirror that you can see the back of there and then back down to the eyepiece. And that folds it up from 1000 millimeters uh, down to th this much shorter length. And so with it being uh, a four inch telescope it's going to be perfect for deep sky objects such as your brighter star clusters, nebula uh, and, and galaxies and also double star work, perfect for that, my favourite uh, uh, subject for, with uh, astronomy and also lunar and planetary work. But as I've mentioned before in a couple of videos, remember that uh, the old saying expectations versus reality. At the time of this video this is a £200 OTA so keep your uh, expectations realistic and you won't be disappointed. And so we'll go through the accessories but first of all you'll notice that the focus wheel here it's on the side that's because this has a side mounted dovetail and so that's why the the focus uh, it looks like it's a bit skewed to one side but it, but you, you, can, you can manage that quite easily. And on the underside here it does have a, a focus scale. But if you mount it on a, uh, a, many of the Skywatcher mounts or acuter mounts that have a side mounted uh, fit in there then it will be the correct way. But, but with the diagonal you can move it around anyway so that's not a problem. So getting on to the finder scope it's a very basic 5 times 24 optical finder. And that gives an upside down and back to front uh, image, the same as you'll get with a Newtonian reflector. It's okay, it's not the best, it's a bit plasticky, but it's very easy to line up. And the, the image, it's acceptable to get you started. And it's, I found it very easy to set up and align with the, uh, the OTA. But the good thing is that this mount here should you wish to in the, in the future it will accept a red dot finder. Why they didn't put one on in the first place but I hope that I, you know, I, I don't decide these things but it will accept a red dot finder so no problem there. So I'll just put this back on and so what we get is quite a basic I would say but I've had a look through and it does give quite a nice image. So this is a 90 degrees mirror diagonal. And so the image you get will be the right way up, but left to right will be opposite. Uh, for astronomers, that's not a problem. Yes, you can get uh, prism designs that can correct the image, but when light goes through a prism, you have more of a chance of seeing uh, greater chromatic aberration than with a mirror. Now, looking at the focuser, uh, it looks like it's a rack and pinion here and uh, I know it's not the best angle to show you and you'd expect it to move in and out but by but this here controls the primary mirror that moves up and down inside and uh, getting back onto this design I guess it has it, uh, compared uh, to the other Mac suits off such as the uh, acuter Mac 80 for example that have a, a glass element here uh, I guess a, an advantage of these is there's less cooling down uh, time required you know, if, if you're going from like inside to outside you want the telescope to get down to the same temperature as outside that, that's not a problem uh, the, the only, only uh, the flip side of that is there's a, a chance of getting uh, some dust inside so you will, will be uh, need to be aware of that and so the eyepieces you get are 10 and 20 millimeters uh, this is the 20 millimeter and so this gives 50 magnification, ideal for those wider field views, and the 10 millimeter gives 100 times. So just tighten that into place, like so. 
And I found these, they, they did give a, a nice wide field of view c compared to the modified acromatics that you used to get with a lot of starter sky watcher scopes. And uh, yeah, I, I think these are now becoming standard with, with a lot of the uh, the, the, the uh, latest uh, sky watcher uh, OTAs and uh, com uh, telescopes complete. And uh, one last thing that it does come with is a smartphone adapter. Uh, if you've seen my previous videos, y you know my thoughts on this. Uh, I, I would say that's basically how you put it on, by the way, and screw it into place, put your smartphone on there and take a photograph. But, yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of smartphone adapters, uh, although it's very good of them to include one, uh, uh, included as standard. You know, as I have I've said many times, and view the, enjoy the view through the eyepiece first, worry about photographs later and uh so yeah and uh you'll, you'll not be disappointed looking at colorful double stars for example you know, will get you much more reward and less frustration than trying to get detailed planetary uh, images and so yeah that's uh, pretty much a quick look around the uh, skywatcher k100 uh, cassegrain telescope uh, so summing up it's a four inch f10 Cassegrain uh, with 50 and 100 magnification to get you started and that should be plenty. That's sensible magnification and so link to purchase in the description below where you'll also see the full specs. Uh, obviously you are supporting our channel uh, by purchasing from us and uh, as always uh, reply to the order confirmation email, confirmation email saying that you watch this channel and I'll put a little extra something in the box. So thanks again and I'll see you next time.